the Chop Valentine's Day edition. This week, we'll have two men showing off their best cooking skills in order to win a date with one amazing girl. Both men will have to make three courses with a random selection of ingredients they are given before their time runs out. After each round, the judge will decide which contestant she believes was the better cook. After all three rounds, she will decide the winner and the best cook of the competition. Let's meet the contestants. I think I'm going to win this because of my cooking skills. I think they're superior to my opponent, and I think that that's going to give me the leverage to win this competition. I mean, I've been cooking for the last 10 years of my life, so I think I got the skills that can pay the bills. If I win, I'm going to take this lovely lady out to a beautiful date in dailies. I think she deserves a, uh, a high-class date. I'm not talking like a dailies date, I'm talking a cranberries date. The guys will have 30 seconds to grab their ingredients from the table. You will then have 20 minutes to complete your appetizer round, 30 minutes to complete your entree, and 30 minutes to complete your dessert. Good luck, guys. You have 30 seconds to pick your ingredients. Go. You have 20 minutes to complete the appetizer round. Now let's meet our judge. Here we have Tanya, who's a professional food critic that specializes in food tasting all along the Jersey shoreline. Today, she's going to have the chance to taste all three courses that these men are making. Hi, right, how are you, Tanya? Are you excited to be here today? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to try all the food and meet these guys. So what do you think they're cooking in there? You know, Gina, that's an interesting question. Hopefully they're making like some type of dip, you know, nothing too spicy. I don't really like spices, so maybe like a quesadilla dip, something really good. Looking at these two dishes, I think mine, I have the superior plating skills. If I don't get this, I'm going to be kind of surprised. I was pretty disappointed with my meal. Uh, didn't quite get the roll the proper way of the tortilla roll. So hopefully I'll still pull out the winner though. Contestant one made this. Wow, this looks delicious. I'd say it's like a veggie wrap, grilled chicken, spinach, tomato. Mmm, so good. You like that one? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what contestant two made. All right, this looks fancy. Wow, a lot of tomato. I am a big fan of tomato. Mm. That's good. You like that one too? Mm, a little bit of a kick to it. Not too big on the spicy end. No? Okay, so if you could pick for round one, who would you say? What contestant? Contestant one or two? The veggie wrap or the tomato buffalo chicken? I would have definitely went with contestant number one, only because I'm not a huge fan of buffalo sauce. All right, well there you have it. Contestant one. You have 30 seconds to pick your ingredients. Go. You have 30 minutes to prepare your entree. So I have to ask you, what do you think these guys are going to look like? You know, I haven't been really giving much thought to what they would look like, honestly, but as long as they could cook, you know what they say, the best way to a woman's heart is through her stomach. In round two, I made a pizza kind of chip thing and I think that it's going to hold together pretty well. I think that she'll enjoy it. So Tanya, if you were cooking in a what would you make? 
I would probably make a little variety of tacos. I would do both soft and hard. Maybe put a little bit of spinach in one, do a little cheese blend in some of the others, just so you have a little bit of variety to choose from. That sounds delicious. I hope that they're making that in there. That would be great. So, contestant one made this pizza here oh, wow. with some chips on it. Okay. Some pepperoni. Very different. Mm. Really cheesy. Really good. Okay, let's see about contestant number two. Made this here. These look very cool. Oh, pizza wow. rolls type of thing. Very creative. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, the bread is so nice and soft. So good. So fresh. They look great. All right, so for round two, who would be who would you pick the winner? Contestant two, hands down. Contestant he really did two. an amazing job. All right, contestant two, round two. You have 30 seconds to pick your ingredients. Go. You have 30 minutes to complete the dessert round. So what is your favorite Valentine's Day dessert? Anything that has to do with chocolate. Chocolate pie, chocolate mousse, tiramisu is my absolute favorite, but it has to be one. I plan on making chocolate covered strawberries with whipped cream on the side, and I am pretty confident about it. I think I'm gonna win. I've made this hot cocoa for my mom before, and she loved it, so I think I got that, that, little, that little touch of love in my hot chocolate. I think my opponent's dish is gonna be subpar to mine. Hot chocolate just doesn't stand up to a lady's sweet tooth. You know, his dish, it, it looked all right, but it smelled like burnt chocolate, so I, I don't know if he can win this one. I think I have this in the bag. Contestant number one made these beautiful strawberries here. Awesome. They look delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and try one. Mmm. What do you think? Extremely fresh. All right, well that's always good. <laughs> All right, so for contestant number two here, it looks like we have a drink. Some hot chocolate, looks oh, like. It's beautiful. Delish. A nice little strawberry. Mm. Out of this world. All right. Well, so after round three now, we need to know who do you think was the best cook for this? This is going to be a really hard decision, Gina. But I think after these three rounds, it's easy to say that contestant number two. Oh, there we have it. Contestant number two is the winner. I won. I was the better cook. And now I get to take this lovely lady to Cranberries. Hi, Hello. how are you? Very good. Nice to meet you. Nice to finally meet you too.